Now, we got a lot of things, a lot of racism going on in the world right now. Who's more racist, black people or white people? Black people. You know why? Because we hate black people, too. <laughs> Everything white people don't like about black people, black people really don't like about black people. There's some shit going on with black people right now. It's like a civil war going on with black people. And there's two sides. It's black people and there's niggas. <laughs> and niggas have got to go. Every time black people want to have a good time, it's that ass niggas fuck it up. When this Chris Rock bit debuted in the late 90s, it was lauded as a brutally honest look into the contradicting realities of black America. Chris Rock was being called the new prior and there were comparisons to Lenny Bruce. Rock was becoming a mouthpiece for black America, but was his most powerful bit anything more than underclass ideology? A curse-filled, Cosby-esque, bootstrapping manifesto? In this episode, we'll take a deeper dive into the Reagan era respectability politics that dominated popular culture and the fascination with black excellence. This is Revolution. they supposed to do. <laughs> for some shit they just supposed to do. A nigga will brag about some shit a normal man just does. A nigga will say some shit like, I take care of my kids. You supposed to be a dumb motherfucker. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm sorry, he's, he's, he's ruined, he's butchering it. I, I'm, could you just let me, every time, every time black people want to have a good time, some ignorant ass oh, no. I take care of my kids. Wait, wait, wait. You always want credit for something they support. 